You see, Edric, I knew they'd help us. Oh, we'll help you. Right. Ah. Hey! Let go of me! We'll help you when you bring back Egan. I'm afraid you chaps are a little confused. We don't have him. We only just arrived here! Yes, two new strangers appear as soon as one of our people goes missing. The first time anything like this has ever happened, and then you show up. But you don't understand. We want to help you. Oh, you want to help us. Well, let's start by helping you. Thank you. You see, I think the only good stranger is a dead one. Stop this, Firum! Let these people go! Not until they bring back Egan. They may not even have him. Stop being so barbaric for Dial's sake. Thank you. Now then, who are you? I'm the Doctor. This is Adric. Why are you here? They were asking questions about Egan. Is this true? Yes. I was under the assumption that the people here were a peaceful and welcoming race. We are. There are just a few exceptions. One of the men at the market told us what had happened and said something about finding a spaceship. That was us. These are my sons, Luan and Tauron. Ah, so you must be Tadel. We've been looking for you. We wanted to ask you about the ship. You see, I think that whatever was in the craft your sons found may have your missing friend. Come with me. We'll discuss this at my home. I still don't trust them. You don't have to. I'm only giving them the benefit of the doubt. This way. Commander. At ease, Field Major Starn. We have received your report to the planet. The Marshal has agreed that the operation shall begin immediately. Very good, Commander. I have been instructed to take command of the operation. Troops will be on standby in case there is resistance. I would think that an unnecessary precaution, Commander. The basic weaponry of these humans is no match for some Terran firepower. Your strategic advice has been noted. Nevertheless, the Marshal has ordered it. If we are successful in our mission, this will be a major coup for the Sontaran army. Very good, Commander. I shall await your arrival. Are these the travellers? Yes, Firm was trying to welcome them in his unique manner. Hello, this is Adric and I'm the Doctor. So, Doctor, what made you come to Karana? Well, Adric here is from eSpace. eSpace? Yes, it's all rather complicated. Basically, he's new to this universe, and I've been given the job of showing him about the place. Yes, but why here? Why not? It's a pleasant enough world. Well, it was until a few days ago. Hmm. Tell me what you saw. There was this ball, which fell from the sky. It landed in the jungle. The next day, Father, Firum, Egan, and a few other men from the village went to investigate. What did you find? Nothing. Nothing. This so-called ship, or whatever it was, had vanished, if it was there to begin with. It was there, why would we lie? But it wasn't there when you went back. That's right, it was the exact spot we saw it the night before. No mistake. So what about this other man, the one who's vanished? When we arrived to find that this ship had gone, we found Egan's spear lying on the floor. But no Egan. We searched every inch of that jungle, and there was nothing. I think it best if Adric and I carried out our own investigations. What? Well, you wanted to help. For all we know, you could be the ones behind it. Then at least give us the opportunity to prove our innocence. After all, the only thing you have to go on is that we arrived near enough the same time. Hardly proof, wouldn't you say? Very well, Doctor. I shall take you to the area. Excellent. Keep an eye on those strangers. Just in case. As you can see, these jungles are thick with foliage. It wouldn't be the first time someone has gotten lost out here. But you're not so sure. I try to remain positive. If there really is something hostile out here, I fear we have not the resources to deal with such a problem. It's just through here. As you can see, Doctor. Nothing. Looks can be deceiving. How do you mean? Something was here, all right. Landing marks. The ground has been burnt up by the thrusters of a spacecraft. A small one, too, by the looks of it. So something did land, but is gone? Not necessarily. There's something in the air. Almost like an electric field. Very faint. Yes. It's making the hairs on the back of my hand stand on edge. Like static. So what are you trying to say? I think that whatever was here is still here. You mean, it's using a form of cloaking device? That would account for the electrical energy. Precisely. Tadel, I want you to go back to your home and relay everything I just said. I shall try, Doctor. Now, I'm not sure what your words mean, but... I think the ship is still here, but invisible. Invisible? Shh! You never know who might be listening. What will you do, Doctor? Me? Oh, well, Adric and I will return to our craft. I have a piece of equipment that may open our eyes, so to speak. I understand. I shall go back at once, good man. Come on, Adric. Uh, it's this way, Doctor. Ah. Interesting. Log 416. 
two new arrivals have investigated the landing area, unable to determine whether they are to be considered a threat. Proceed with caution. But what would this thing want with Egan? That's what we need to find out. Obviously, if it's still here, then it's not finished yet. So what is it you're looking for? An electromagnetic scrambler that will disrupt the frequency of the cloaking inducer around that ship. Like an electromagnetic pulse? Yes. The trouble is finding one. But we could always make one. They aren't that... No. I fear the time is of the essence. You know what's out there, don't you? Call it a theory. And a very nasty one at that. I have listened to your latest report on the new arrivals. Very good, sir. We shall proceed as originally planned. Do you have the device, sir? Yes. The machine is ready to be set up as soon as we have made our presence known. If we are met with resistance, all natives are to be killed on sight. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Excellent. Let us hope the natives are foolish enough to oppose us. Indeed, Commander. Invisible ships? Don't be so foolish, Tadel. I am only relaying what the Doctor said. More lies. Lies to cover his tracks. This Doctor may look like an idiot, but he was cunning enough to fool you. Why can't you just accept that he may be right? Why does it have to be some big conspiracy? What else was said, Father? He and the boy have gone back to their own craft in search of some equipment that will allow us to see the ship. It was a good thing I sent one of our men to follow them, then, wasn't it? Oh, Ferrum. Merely a precaution. Theorem! Tadel! You must come quickly! Another ship has landed in the jungle! What? Are you sure? Yes, just as you destroyed the other, a large ball crashing through the sky! Just over there, I saw the doctor and the boy go into that blue box. They was going to follow them when I heard it. We'll head into the jungle as soon as it's light. Is this it? Yes. Let's get back to Tadel and the others. Doctor, what do we do once we can see it? I mean, if your suspicions are correct, and it is something dangerous... One thing at a time, Adric. One thing at a time. So you have no idea, then? No. But when I do have an idea, I'll be sure to tell you. Come on. Ah, Tadel! Doctor! I've got the... Never mind about that now. Another ship has landed. What? Could you describe it? It was the same as the other. A large silver ball. Tadel, we need to evacuate the area. What? You're dealing with a force that will be far too powerful for your people. You mean you know what it is? I think so. I've no idea what they could want here, but it won't be good. You need to move out of here! Go back to your homes! Look, I don't care what's going on, I've got to make a living! Then if living is what you're concerned about, I suggest you leave here immediately! That ship he described, what is it? A Sontaran scout ship. Come on, clear the area! Stay where you are. Doctor, what is it? What are they? Sontarans. What? Just do as they say. It might stop them from killing you. They're the ones who have Egan. If they do, then Egan is dead. You are quite right, Field Major Star. The inhabitants of this world are quite primitive. Who do you think you are? Don't challenge him. I'm no coward! Where's Egan? A futile gesture, but honourable as you show respect for your fallen comrade. Just who exactly are you? I am Commander Zahn of the Seventh Sontaran Battle Fleet. This is Field Major Star. Your planet has been chosen by the High Command of the Sontaran military. Chosen for what? For the honor of war. For the great glory of the Sontaran Empire, I claim this planet and its satellites. This planet is now under the command of the Sontaran Empire. All resistance will be eliminated. <laughs> 